First thing you need to do is get the grade transfer extension. So you'll need to go to the Chrome Web Store. You can come to your apps to get to that or just Google Chrome Web Store. In the search box, type in grade transfer. You'll see it pops up here. Yours will say add to Chrome. Mine says rate it because I already have added it. Make sure you definitely rate it after you have used it because you can see it only has seven people so far. So definitely get in there and rate it once you've used it and you love it. Um, once you click on add to Chrome, follow the screen. It'll tell you what to do. The directions will tell you what you need to do. You'll need to restart your Chrome as well. Make sure you do that. Once you've done everything correctly, you'll have the icon show up in the upper right hand corner where extensions are. You'll see right here it says GT. Once you have this step done, then you're ready to use grade transfer. To use the grade transferer, you're going to open up your Google Classroom, go to the Classwork tab, go and open up the assignment that you want to transfer the grades for, click on View Assignment, then you will come up and you will click on the Grade Transfer extension. You are going to choose to grab data. This may take a few minutes. This was pretty quick for mine, but if it may take a few minutes, give it its time. Once you have all the data up here, then you will click on OK. Then you click over to Infinite Campus. Find the assignment. Open up the assignment. Make sure your cursor's in the first student. Then you'll come back up to the grade transfer icon. You'll notice this now says got data and you'll see a green check mark. Once you've seen that, then you will click on fill data. You'll see the pop up again, letting you know that it's transferred all of the data. Click OK. I do still suggest double checking your grades every now and then and definitely tell your students to always check their grades on Infinite Campus to make sure it matches. You will have to go in, you'll notice there's a few students that have blanks, so you will have to go in and fix those. And then you can add any additional comments as well and make sure you click save. Okay, there are times where there's a bug here or there with the grade transfer. For example, um, before this last update, when you would go to grab data, nothing was happening. When you grab data, it only grabs data for one assignment at a time. It can only hold that much. And it's supposed to, once you fill the data, trash all that and purge it. But there were times it was not doing that. So if you go to grab data and you have an issue, you could click on the purge here. That way it deletes everything in storage so you're starting fresh. So that's one little troubleshooting thing that you can try. Um, you could also remove the extension and add it again. You could also do the Chrome restart that you tried when you first added the extension. Um, you have to remember it's a free extension, so you know sometimes there could be some issues. Definitely if you have an issue, click on the report bug here and let the guy who created it know. He is a teacher, so you know he definitely um, wants this to work for teachers and he does continually do updates on it, so definitely let him know if you have any type of a problem. Um, I don't know who this person is, but I definitely would suggest that if you're willing to, to donate a little bit to him because obviously it's saving us all as teachers a lot of time to have this grade transfer extension. So feel free to donate again. I don't know him. I'm just mentioning that that little button is there because I know I appreciate the fact that he offers this for free. Right? And that is how you use the grade transfer.